This is AccuSizer software training on analyses regions and how to use the Analysis Definition Manager. There are six types of analyses definitions in the AccuSizer software. The region definition for creating reports on existing results, the standard definition for creating reports for new or existing results, and then these definitions which are used only in the pharmaceutical industry when performing certain USP tests such as the count accuracy and sensor resolution tests. We use these analyses regions to create custom reports, such as the one you see here for our trimix standard, where we look at the mean size reported in this column and the concentration over three size ranges based on a nominal size of 0.8, 2, and 5 microns. To begin, we will click up here on analyses, and here we see the analysis definition manager dialog box. Here are some of the analyses regions I have already created. For instance, for a trimix standard, you'll see I've created a group of regions centered around 0.8, 2, and 5 microns. And here I put the minimum and maximum concentration. In other ones, such as 8671, I'm just saying let's measure from 0.5 to 500, 1 to 500, et cetera, et cetera. Here is an example of a region for doing the USP 788 sensor resolution, where I really just enter the size in the standard deviation. OK, so let's start by creating a new set of sizes for regions. I can come down here and click on the asterisk. I'm going to call something Custom Sizes. And over here, under Analysis Type, I can choose what type of analysis region I'm trying to define. Region Definition, Standard Definition, or all of these are used for USP testing in the pharmaceutical industry. I will choose Regions Definition. Now I can click Tab. I'm not going to enter a nominal diameter. I'm going to say for the first region, let's measure from 0.5 to 500. And then from, say, 1 micron to 500, from 5 microns to 500, and the final one we will make from 10 to 500 microns. OK, we have now defined these custom sizes. We don't have to click Save. When we close this and we open Analyses again, we'll see Custom Sizes is chosen here. And now, if I want to, I could create a report where we will report information in these chosen size ranges. For example, I will open this result. I will right-click on Create Report. In Create Report, I will click on Multiple Region Report. And in this box, I need to choose which of the sizes I'm going to create the report based on custom sizes. I'll call this report Custom 1. OK. And now it will create the report and give us the information in those selected size ranges. Here is the result looking at the number of counts per mil greater than 0.5, 1, 5, and 10 microns. And that is the first way we could use these analysis regions is to create reports and report concentration within selected size ranges. Let's do a few more analyses regions. If I'm doing a USP 788 validation, I might want to enter information for the 10 micron resolution test. Over here, under the type, I will select sensor resolution, hit tab. Let's say that it was actually 10.1 was the diameter for the standard, and what if the standard deviation was 0.09? I now have entered that information. And what I can do is take a 10 micron result, and then I can create a report, go to sensor resolution report here, and I've created the information, which I just entered into the analysis region definitions. I will give a file name. It will now automatically generate that report. And here we see the results where the sensor resolution was 3.56, and it will pass. I might also want to create the regions to do the USP count standard. So I'll come here and enter USP count standard. Come over here and select that as a type. So I'll do count accuracy. 
What I need to enter is the minimum concentration, which for this bottle was 3300 per ml. The maximum concentration was 4100 per ml. The minimum ratio was 1.78, and the maximum ratio was 2.57. So I've entered this information. Now I can take a result running the USP 15 micron count standard. I click Create Report, and down here I will choose Count Accuracy Report. I've entered the information as USP count standard. Give the report a name. Click OK. And now it will automatically generate the count standard report as we see here. It is in between the minimum and the maximum, and the ratio of greater than 10 to greater than 15 microns is 1.86. That's acceptable. So this measurement passes both the count criteria and the ratio criteria.